Hi, today we're going to really quickly make some iced lemon finger buns. And I'm going to go really quickly through the equipment and the ingredients as per usual. So we're going to need a really big mixing bowl and our scales for weighing out and a teaspoon for measuring. We are going to have a measuring jug, a wooden spoon, oop, flour, a fork for beating our egg later, and a knife. Um, we've got a uh, juicer to juice some lemons later, um, and obviously we've got a baking tray and baking parchment for when we actually bake the finger buns. But first things first, let's crack on with getting everything organised. We've got 500 grams of strong bread flour. So that's just going to go in our bowl. We've also got 50 grams of caster sugar. That's going in as well. We are going to add a teaspoon of salt. Oops. In it goes. And then quite a lot, it seems, but it'll be fine. Four teaspoons of dried yeast. One, two, three, four. Okay. We have got 50 grams of soft butter. So this is where our recipe starts becoming an enriched dough. 50 grams of butter and we have 150 millilitres of milk. It's all going in. Okay. One egg will really enrich this dough. I'm going to just crack that into my jug. Get rid and with our fork. Beat the egg. And in it goes. Okay. Right. In here, I have already measured out 100 millilitres of water. That's going to go in, but I'm not going to add all of it. I'm going to hold a little bit back just in case. Okay. Good. What I'm going to do off camera. I'm going to start mixing this so it becomes a nice mixed dough, a shaggy dough, and then I shall tip it out onto my work surface and the kneading will commence. So all the ingredients is now mixed together. I've just mixed that in the bowl. I'm going to put it onto the work surface, get rid of that, and now I'm going to start kneading. So I've continued kneading and as you can see the dough has really changed considerably from a very sticky dough to a lovely smooth dough. It's much more elastic and smooth. You can actually do a little test. My bakery students will know what this is, the window pane test. Get a little piece of dough, stretch it very carefully outwardly. If it doesn't tear and it just gets thinner and thinner and thinner and you can see through it. You can hold it up to the window and it's transparent without breaking. Then you've done a good job. I would say we're ready to go. Okay. This is now ready to start proving. I'm going to put it back in the bowl and 
and I'm going to cover it with a damp tea towel. At college, we put things in our proving cupboard, but today is such a lovely warm day. I'm going to put this on my windowsill and the sunlight's going to come down and keep that nice and warm. It will rise for about 45 minutes and sort of double in size. So this has been proving for 45 minutes. Let's do the big reveal and see how much it has actually proved. Got bigger. Can we see that? That's certainly doubled in size. That's our beautiful dough all ready. We're going to actually knock it back, get rid of some of that air. And it actually reduces back down to sort of the size it originally was. Taffy's intrigued as to what's going on, the dog wandering around, sniffing me. Okay, so we have our dough, beautiful, beautiful dough. I'm just going to knead that briefly, nothing major. That is going to be divided into 20 pieces. So how do we divide into 20 without weighing out? We're not going to get too worried about precise measurements, but we're going to divide that first of all into half. Okay. Each piece is going to be 10. So again, into half, and again into half. So each piece now, this has got to go into five. So again, we're sort of guessing it a little bit, where so you can practice estimation skills. I think if you were to weigh it all out, each ball would be about 45 grams. But don't quote me on it. Okay, I'm going to carry on doing that. And then in a second, we're going to start shaping our finger buns. Okay, so now we've got our 20 little balls and I'm just going to shape them as we do at college into little rounds and then into finger shapes. And then I'm going to lay them out oops, on my baking paper. So again, round and then into long finger shapes. I'm going to leave them spaced apart but it's actually quite nice if they sort of touch and kiss slightly because then you peel them apart from each other and you get a nice edging to them. Okay, try and keep your fingers consistent. Don't have them too stumpy and short nice lengths like that are ideal. Okay, so we've got our 20 finger buns all rolled out. Just going to transfer this last batch onto the baking tray. As I say, leave a little bit of a gap, but don't worry too much about spacing them out um, completely because it's quite nice when they, when they sort of touch. Now, this is now going to prove, this one's going to go over there, for another 45 minutes. And then these fingers will all um, rise, get bigger, and then they'll be ready to go into the preheated oven, 200 degrees centigrade. But 45 minutes later, we will be popping them in the oven. Okay, so we've got our 20 finger rolls. They're all going into the oven now. 200 degrees, not very long, 10 to 12, maybe 15 minutes, but probably about 12 minutes. Okay, so as you can hear, the buzzer is going off, the timer. I am going to get those out of the oven. Absolutely beautiful. That's 10 minutes. 
I'm going to get them all out, cool them down, and we'll do the last little bits in a minute. So all the buns are out of the oven now. We've got 20 of them and we've sort of peeled them apart from each other and you get that lovely classic sort of seam join there. Just gonna very quickly make the lemon icing. I've got 200 grams of sift, um, sifted icing sugar in a bowl and I've actually squeezed a lemon and so I've got lemon juice in here already and I thought I'd add a little bit of lemon zest. So if you look at the other video with um, for lemon drizzle cake you'll see how to zest a lemon and to juice a lemon. So that's basically what we've got going on in here but in our icing sugar we're actually going to add um, some teaspoons of lemon juice and that will give it that really lovely tart sour taste and we want this icing to be fairly thick so that it smooths onto the buns really thickly and we don't want it to be too runny so very carefully to mix this icing. Now these buns are absolutely fine, really delicious, just eaten as they are now and in fact you could have that, that's an enriched kind of sweet roll. Um, the recipe that I think you've already got does ask for as an optional, you can put some lemon curd down into the bun, slice it open, add some lemon curd my family do not like lemon curd, but that is there just in case you wanted to see what it looks like, lemon curd in the, inside the bun. But we today here are going to be just making a little bit of sort of glacé icing for the top of the bun. There we are, it's fairly thick. It's making a bit of a mess. You'll have to excuse me. Okay, nice and thick icing there. Okay, I won't take you through all of these because you can do this yourself. I hope you've enjoyed the video. This is just going to be a quick look at how one might do this on top and you've got your iced lemon finger. See you soon. Bye.